She proposed to him? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please, can we take a moment to talk about women proposing to men? I never thought I would see it happen, but it is something that we, we see in the Western culture. It is now becoming a norm in the Western culture. And the most annoying part of it is that it has been imported in my own country. I've not seen so much in my country, but the little I've seen, the men have always turned it down. Because men in Africa, especially Nigeria, they have so much ego. <laughs> I think I've seen like two or three. And those two few videos I've seen, the men turned out in proposal. And that's what you'll be getting as a woman in my country. If you are trying to propose to any man in this country, you want that man to die of shame. Like to the day, to his last breath, me, men, his fellow men will mock him. So even if that man loves you, but for the fact that you've done that, that man will not even stay with you anymore. You get, so if you're a Nigerian watching this, don't you dare try it. Even if all the girls around you are telling you, oh, oh how is it anything? How people in America are doing? Do not try yourself. So yeah, back to the topic. Can we talk about it? So that's all we are going to be discussing in today's video. Women proposing to their men. What's your take on it? Do you think it's something that women should be doing? No matter how the love is shocking them. No matter how the love is. Or they should just, you know, hint the man. Why should you even hint to the man that he should propose? It, see, men know what they want. Men know what they want. I've seen men. I've heard. In fact, this morning, while we're doing prayer online, a woman gave testimony how she met a nigerian woman even she's from my country the man too the proposal is from my country they met in other three months they got married they got married in other three months everything that she said no man has ever treated her the way that man is the way that man is like no and she's 43 too let's say us, let me also tell you that men know what they want and when they, we've, we've heard men say it often time when they see a woman they want to spend the rest of their life with they know so why why do you think you need to now start you know compelling the man to marry you sis if you have to force a man to marry you please buy go and buy common sense in case you don't have it like my people will say but let's just you know dive into the video of the day the post say congratulations to marissa silver a 29 year old designer making 95k a year she just proposed to her boyfriend of 10 years. He's a line cook at Waffle House. Gen Z is really built different. Look, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It'd have been plenty of 95K good job having blue collar men proposing to line cooks at Waffle House, fast food workers, retail workers. So at the end of the day, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Look. Women want everything to be equal, but at the same time, they don't want everything to be equal. They only want the things that they want to be equal. <laughs> but at the end of the day, in my book, hey, it's going to have to be equal all across the board. So if you want to get married, propose to your man. <laughs> Go buy a Marine, you know, get down on one knee and ask that man to marry you. <laughs> Okay, I'm proposing to my boyfriend in an hour. This is this is the look. This is the makeup. And I'm so nervous I thought I'd just come on here and talk it through. So basically, me and my boyfriend have been together for 12 years. I didn't think I wanted to get married. I just, I wasn't sure I wanted to. And the last conversation I had with my boyfriend, he said, uh, we kind of thought maybe we did want to. I used to hate the whole like big marriage, big proposal, lots of sexism, lots of giving away. And then actually as I've got older, lots of weddings have been a bit more personal and less like that. So I've kind of changed my mind, I think. Well, definitely I should know by now. But uh, he said, when you want to get married, just give me a nod and I'll launch into proposal planning. And I thought, I don't want to give you a nod. I'm going to give you a ring. So I'm about to propose. Wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes. It's happening literally right now. Wish me luck. 
this is how I proposed to my boyfriend. So I rented out this boat called the London Shell Co, which is like a seafood fish restaurant that goes around the canals of London. It's really beautiful, really tasty. And I went in the boat to go meet my boyfriend for what he thought was gonna be a picnic by the river, by the canals. But um, actually I was there in front of the boat asking him to marry me. So here's right after I, I asked him to marry me and then he asked me to marry him and we exchanged rings, which I already designed and bought, but it was great, it was so nice. Uh, and then we went on the boat alone for like 30 minutes, traveling around the canals, being all loved up. And I actually think my favorite detail is that all my friends were waiting outside of restaurants for what they thought was going to be Adam's surprise birthday party but actually I got to stand here and say thank you all so much for joining us but it's actually not a surprise birthday party it's a surprise engagement party and usually when you get married like everyone is so excited but they've kind of mellowed out by the time the engagement party comes around but that wasn't this wasn't the case at all because everyone was just like in the moment so wild and then we like went downstream having dinner and celebrated there are so many other details and little lies that I created that I might make another video on but for now highly recommend surprise birthday parties turning into surprise engagement parties but I'm not proposing to you. It's more of a will you marry me because we're not getting younger type of thing. And that's the reason. But why won't you marry me? What 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 are you? Her caption to this video actually said that he begged her not to post this online. So even he was trying to spare her from the embarrassment. Ladies, before you take pancake batter and spell out the words, will you marry me? and present it on a plate to your long-term boyfriend and ask him why he hasn't married you, just grab your things and move on. He knows that you want to be married. He knows that you're expecting a relationship to go in a certain way. You should never have to ask a man. You should never have to ask him. You should have in your mind a certain amount of time that you're willing to wait. And when that time has elapsed, then you realize, you know what? You tell him the relationship isn't progressing the way that I thought it would, the way that I hoped that it would. And I don't want to give this any more time. I know that it's easier said than done. But the last thing you want to be doing is begging the man. And look how he look. He's taking a, a breath like, oh, he looking very much like, here we go again. It makes me feel like, how many times have you asked this man to marry you? Clearly, he doesn't want to if he hasn't asked. You don't want it like this. You don't want a, a proposal that you had to beg or manipulate or guilt trip out of a man. Because then you'll always have to wonder, did he marry me because he actually loved me or because I asked him to? You want it to be his idea. You want him to be head over heels, can't marry you fast enough. Like, you don't want it like this. You don't want to have begged and pleaded for it. A man always wants to feel like a decision this big was his idea. It's like... Some men will actually take the bait and they will marry you because you keep pressuring them. And I just made a video that went viral recently about how these men were like shoving wedding cake in their wives' faces. One wrestled a woman down to the ground. Another one in his vows, he was saying all this disrespectful stuff to his new wife. Some of them will marry you due to the pressure, but they'll never let you forget that it was your idea. And I'll be real with you. One of the main reasons why a man won't marry you is because he doesn't have to. Because you're giving him all of the wife treatment without actually having to be a wife. You're cooking for him, cleaning for him, being intimate with him. You live together. You have kids together. You've, you've bought a house together. You own a business together. You got, you share a same bank account. Like all, some of you are doing all of the things. There is nothing on the other side. He's getting every single thing that he could ever think of that he would ever get from you as a wife without having to make you one. And he won't. Like, there should always be some things that are reserved for a husband where he knows that if I want to take it to that level, I'm going to have to marry this girl. But when you do all the things, like, that's why he don't want to marry you. Like, why should he? Y'all are doing too much for these boyfriends. And that's why they're happy they'll be your boyfriend for the rest of their lives if you let them. I proposed to him today, and this was his reaction. <laughs> No. Why? But I want to marry you. I'm good. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> he said, yeah. Of <laughs> all the things you could do that will send you to hell, Joe's proposing to a man. Ah, at least whatever sin I've committed, when they're flashing my life to me on judgment day, you're not going to find she got on one knee and gave a man a ring to marry her. I, not on earth, not in Mars, not even on the dwarf planet Pluto will you find my doppelganger proposing to a man.
Nice. I hope he gets his period soon. I got a real princess over there. Do you though? Proposing to my boyfriend to see his reaction. Babe, do you love me? Huh? Do you love me? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay, one second. Babe, can you face me for a second, please? Yeah. What's up? Hi. I love you too. I love you and more. You mean the world to me. And since, you know, I dedicated my life to wearing this outfit every day you with did. you, yeah, I did. I you don't thought it was time to dedicate my life to you with getting married. Would you would you marry me? Wait. I'll be right back. Will you marry me? So I've been tagged repeatedly in a video of a woman who uh, is engaged to a man that she met 30 days ago on a dating app. And the reason why I didn't comment on it was because when I first saw her video, one of the first things she said was, um, if you're watching this video, you're on the right side of TikTok. We're not bitter over here. We still believe in love over here. And I thought to myself, just because somebody is trying to warn you about some of the pitfalls in love and dating doesn't mean that they're bitter. So I was like, good luck to her. Congratulations to the happy couple. But since then, I've seen that I guess his like ex-girlfriend has come out and basically explained that she also like pursued in the exact same way. And she said that it was love bombing and that he expected her also to give up her career for him and to move for him. And he also said he loved her in a week. And he also said he wanted to marry her in a month. Like it was the same thing. Like this is what he does. This is MO. Is he going to keep asking women until somebody says yes and follow through? I'm not saying this to shade this woman in any way because the only advice that I would have is to be careful because one reason why some men want to move so quickly is because they know they're hiding something and the fact they move the less likely you are to discover their secret when you're moving this fast you can't find out if this man has an alcohol problem if he doesn't have a home if he's jobless if he's married if he has more kids than he says he has or if he has kids at all like you're moving so quickly how well do you possibly know this man one of the best pieces of advice that my daddy ever gave me is that you don't know a man until you've seen him angry in these 30 days have you even seen this man angry like anybody can pretend to be your Prince Charming if you only give him 30 days to do it. So clearly she wants our feedback or she wouldn't keep telling us the information. There's so many reasons a man can pursue you, but love doesn't have to be one of them. All we're saying is be careful. Lastly, let me say this. Whether you've known a man for 30 days or three years, a person could still switch up on you and show you a side of them that you never saw coming. People could also meet and marry in 30 days and be married for 30 years. The thing about love is the whole thing is a risk. Every bit of it is a gamble. And to the woman who made this video, I want to say this specifically to you. There are people out there who heard your story and they want to say, I told you so. They want to laugh. They want to point. They want to pop their popcorn and they want to celebrate being right. But that's not all of us. Some of us have seen this story play out one time too many, and they're just genuinely hoping that you don't get hurt. Oh. Oh, I'm serious. Oh. 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 I'm serious. I'm serious, come on, I'm serious. I'm serious, I'm serious, I'm serious, I'm serious. Please, my What are you doing? I'm serious. Don't let me bug that down. I'm serious. Stop now, you feel like bleed. I'm serious, I'm serious. Oh God, let me tell her my babe. Babe, I'm serious now, please. Please, I beg you, I beg you. They're embarrassing you, they know. They're embarrassing us. I'm serious. I'm serious, I'm serious. I'm serious, I'm serious. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes, my legs don't do this. Just say yes, please. 
Please let me tell him to say yes. Please, I beg you. We are friends. I'll cry. We are friends. I'll cry. We are best friends for that matter. Okay, yes. Please, I beg please you. Please, you're embarrassing me. Please. please. Let's not do please, this here. Please, please, I beg you. Please, Let's not do this I beg here. you. Please, I beg you. you. I beg you. People are watching. I beg you, please. No. People are watching us. I beg you. Ella. Please. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing us. I know. Come on, let them go. Let them first. Who's going to do that one? Please. 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 I will not stand up for me if you not say yes, I swear. No, no, please go. I will not stand up if you not say yes. Thank you. No, no. Say yes. I will go. Please, please, just go. say yes. I will leave you. Just say yes, please. Can you let me go? Please let me tell you. Just say yes. Oh, please, oh, please, 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 Oh. Just say yes, just say yes, yes, just yes. We are Please, friends, we are just say friends. yes, just say yes. I, ca I cannot date you. I beg you, please just say yes. We are best friends now, I'm begging you, please, please don't yes, embarrass please, me here. Yes, this is please. a public place for that matter. Just say yes, just say yes, I'll stand up, just say yes. Just say yes. Please, I'll stand up, please. <laughs> Please, I beg you. I will stand up. Let me tell him to say yes, please. I will stand up. Please, don't say yes. I will stand up, please. I'm serious, please. Oh, yeah, say yes. Say yes, 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 say yes. I love you now, yes, please don't yes, say yes. Yes, please, yes. yes, yes. yes, make sure come up for yes. Say yes, yes. 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 No, I'm not going to my best friend. Like, no, no, no. Don't say yes, please. I beg you. Don't say yes. I'll stand up, please. I beg you. Jonathan, please. To be my best friend. Jonathan, please. To be my best friend. 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 To be my Please don't say yes. Just say yes. I cannot leave you here. Just say yes. I will stand up. Just say yes. Please, Jonathan. Please, Jonathan. Please, Jonathan. Please, don't say yes. I will stand up. Please. 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 Then you go say no for house. Let me hear you go say no. Let me hear you go say no. Let me go house, go say no. You don't understand. Let me go house, go say no. Let me go house, go say no for house. Let me hear you go say no. Please, I beg you, just say yes. Okay, just because I told you I don't get into any, any, any relationship. I'm sorry, just say yes. Now why? Please. Now why you can't embarrass me for public like this? Please, I beg you, please. Abby. I don't want you to take care of me. I do not have to. <laughs> oh my god did you guys see this is just 
this is actually happening in my I mean, happened in my country this is the way the guy was reacting you, he was even trying to look around hope nobody's seeing what this guy is doing say are you whining me in other words are you joking with me and i say you two they play too much you play too much because in his head she must be joking because why would you be embarrassing me in public like this that's what the in essence what he's trying to tell the girl this is my country nigeria and i was telling you guys our men do not take it lightly when a woman wants to play the role of a man we are still heavily traditional in my country there's nothing like oh you are a modern woman or you, you are oh you are a traditional everybody's we there's no division though even though our women are beginning to import the western culture of course because of their tiktok tiktok has corrupted a lot in my country me yeah, I, do, I don't really say it's corruption just showing how some people don't have mind of their own but let me know you, what your thoughts are in the comment section do you think you can propose to a man can you propose to a man me i will never ever ever do let me just tell you guys no matter how that love is shocking me i will never ever step into that into that this time saying oh let me propose to you nah nah he who finds a wife that is what my bible says unless if i didn't if i'm reading a different bible my bible says he who finds a wife never in any way did he say he who finds a husband nah 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 never 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 all I can do is position like Ruth. Ruth positioned. That's all I can do as a woman. But me, propose to you? Nah. It's not going to happen. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You know, we all have our own opinion. But me, I'm never doing it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye.